In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Glorify him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 9, verses 38 through to 50. Now John answered him, saying, Teacher, we saw someone who does not follow us casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he does not follow us. But Jesus said, Do not forbid him, for no one who works a miracle in my name can soon afterwards speak evil of me. For he who is not against us is on our side. And for whoever gives up a cup of water to drink in my name, because you belong to Christ, assuredly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed rather than having two hands to go to hell into the fire that shall never be quenched where their worm does not die, and the fire is not quenched. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame, rather than have, having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that shall never be quenched, where the worm, their worm does not die, and the fire is not quenched. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye rather than having two eyes and to be cast into the hell fire where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. For everyone will be seasoned with fire and every sacrifice will be seasoned with salt. Salt is good. But if the salt loses its flavour, how will you be? Will you season it? Have salt in yourselves, and have peace with one another. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful followers of yours, true disciples of yours. Today in the church, the 24th, we celebrate the nativity of John the Baptist, the forerunner of Christ. Yes a great prophet who came to prepare the way for our Saviour, Jesus Christ. A very special feast today. Yes. At the Annunciation, you may recall how the angel Gabriel told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth was with child Yes, with child. And this child, of course, was John the Baptist, the forerunner. There are many other readings in the scriptures about John and the birth of John and how there were problems about naming him. But he was the one a very special person who was born. He came calling on people, 
calling on the world to repent of their worldly ways. Yes, this is right. Repent of your worldly ways and follow Christ. This is why John the Baptist, the great John the Baptist, was calling us to do. And still is calling us to repent. So many of us have turned. And in today's reading we read about how those who are not with Christ and are against him, and talking about sin, the different parts of our body, that sin, what to do, cut them off. It's better to enter into life lame than go into hellfire. Yes. Consider John the Baptist. Pray to him to help you, to guide you on this journey of life. Help us to repent. Yes. He gave up all to you in following Christ. To be the forerunner, the prophet, the great prophet or telling of Christ, calling the world to repentance. I urge you all to fall on your knees. Beg God to forgive you, your worldly ways, your many failures in following Christ. Glory to you, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, be with you now and forever. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>